Okay, second grade, we're gonna be painting our Moistat flowers. So, uh, folder holder, make sure you open up the folder, give everybody their flowers they drew. Please return the folder to my box because these papers will be wet. Make sure the name is right. You gotta make sure it's horizontal. Please remember we have our white piece of paper underneath. Make sure your pink paper is on top of your white paper. Uh, supply manager is gonna get the tray. Table captain, grab the house. Please pass out the brushes, put the house back. And we have a lot of colors. We have peach, pink, orange, green, and then white is way back here. So I've put them in order how we're going to use them because we're gonna start with the lightest. And I know white is the lightest, but white is gonna be added last because we're gonna use it as um, a highlight, like the sun or a light is shining on the flowers. So we're gonna start with the peach color. And please remember, we are not using water today. So the water is gonna be off your tray what we're gonna be doing is using this big white paper to clean our brush off. We kind of practiced last week with our black paint. Now be careful, you don't wanna wipe it so close to your paper um, that when you move your paper, it gets all over the paper. You're gonna find an area up here around. Also, we yes, I know this white paper has a bunch of shapes on it. That was another activity I did with my kids a couple years ago. We are not painting on the white paper. We're not drawing shapes and lines and things. All we're gonna be using this white paper underneath is to clean our brush off. So understand, um, please don't be playing around and painting the paper with shapes and lines. Just clean it off. And you'll see me do that as we work. So we're gonna start with our um, vase and, which is this, and be careful, we don't wanna go into the leaves. So peach, which is the very first color, we're gonna start with that. Again, you're gonna go around those black lines. But don't go over them. A little bit of the pink of the paper shows through, that's fine. Okay, so that peach color, which is the light orange, is my base. Again, now, I'm done. So I'm just gonna take my brush up here and go back and forth till I feel like there's no wet peach paint on it. And the way I've ordered our paints, it kind of, it will not mess up the paints because what you have to worry about is getting the darker colors and the lighter colors. The lighter colors and the darker colors won't affect it. So we, that's why we're working peach, pink, orange, green, then our white last. Um, okay, so now we're going to move to, your flowers again are going to be different. I, you should have five. The first three right here, we're gonna be using the peach, and uh, pink, I'm sorry, and then the other ones will be using um, the orange. So, get my pink. Again, I don't wanna cover up that little black dot. I'm going around. Around. Okay, so I'm gonna take my brush and just, again, wipe it off. Now I'm gonna go to the orange. So once I do that, again, I'm just going back and forth with my brush. Do it over here too, because I have some room. So I'm not drawing shapes or anything, I'm just trying to get it clean. Okay, now we're gonna move to our leaves. Okay, so on the part, the line and above, you gotta be careful because there's little spaces around. We're gonna be using um, the peach and the pink. So we're gonna go back to the peach. And I'm just gonna add, then I'm not even gonna wipe my brush off. I'm gonna add some of the pink on top. And kind of blend them together on my paper. Again, these little areas, I wanna go slow. are white so I, I do want to double check because I see some on the handle which is okay as long as it's not covered in the brush because the handle you just got to be careful when we dip into the white paint I don't want to take the white paint all the way up I'm gonna stop right there see I didn't go all the way up and now and if the little pink shows through on your white on your paper that's perfectly fine it kind of gives it a tint So now we're gonna do this thing where it looks like there's a light 
or the sun is shining onto the flowers. So only on this, this side of your flowers, where my finger is pointing, we're gonna be adding a white curve. So. So, and then I under, it didn't turn as white there. That's fine. So now we have finished painting. So again, wipe all that paint off your brush using the paper. Um, again, house, you should have your hair on top. So if you notice, I went from the handle of my brush like this, flipped it over, put the handle down in there so the hair is on top, lay that back down. Um, supply manager, please make sure you return your tray. Everybody else, you're gonna be listening for texture, texture, texture. So you know when it is time to push your chair in and walk your flowers back to the drying rack. Please remember, we painted it horizontal, but when you go to the drying rack, you always wanna turn it vertical. You always wanna make sure you go horizontal to vertical on the drying rack, because if we don't put them vertical, then we won't have enough room for eight papers on the drying rack.